teaching rooted in fun to help people fight. That's the goal of the Tangier Classic. And if you're, of course, familiar with the tournament, you probably know it doesn't take place until September. So why talk about it now? We're going to let these guys here explain. We're happy to welcome Adam Corey and Ryan Dodson here to a Historic Studio D. First of all, love the hats. Yes, yes definitely. They look great. Yep. So, yeah, so uh, Adam, of course, for roles who maybe aren't familiar with the Tangier Classic, what is it? Sure, so we are a nonprofit organization that puts on a fishing tournament every year in Crisfield, Maryland, and the tournament is open to the entire Chesapeake Bay and all of its tributaries. And we're a, uh, we're a hybrid tournament. Um, we have our own usable app for people to put in their submissions of fish when they compete. And we have divisions from power boat, kayak, and kids. Um, we are, again, a nonprofit, and our goal is to serve under uh, disadvantaged youth in our community and also reach out to other nonprofit organizations to make sure that we're supporting our our neighbors. So the reason you're here in what February yeah. is because you're looking for we a are, beneficiary. We are looking for our beneficiaries. Mm -hmm. So every year we select a youth that is in need and then we build our tournament around that person. Uh, we've been very, very fortunate and blessed to have many good candidates every year, uh, including the son of the gentleman sitting to my right. Mm -hmm. And um, it just it brings the community together around one focus. And then we've been so successful in our, our dollar raising campaigns especially with having 120 sponsors just last year, 337 anglers, $28,500 in prize money. But at the end of the day, the story stays with the beneficiary mm -hmm. what we're able to do for them. So yeah. that's what we do it for. Yeah. And you mentioned, of course, Ryan here, yeah. the father of Lane, a previous beneficiary. Tell us a little bit about Lane. So Lane uh, now is nine years old. And um, uh, se September of 2018, he was diagnosed with leukemia. Mm -hmm. And, um, and type 1 diabetes the day after. Mm. So um, he was going through a rough time and the, and the following year um, we were approached by, by these guys, um, said they wanted to put on a fishing tournament, you know, to benefit him. It was, it was unbelievable the turnout from the local community and, you know, these guys and the work they put in. It's, mm. it's really a, a great, great thing. So tell us how the Tangier Classic played a role in your, your family. So um, throughout his, um, his journey with the type 1 diabetes, um, we found out that he could get a diabetic alert dog, um, which would alert him to his high blood sugars, you know, would alert him and let him know his blood sugar's getting high. So it's something we really, you know, wanted to pursue with him being young and, you know, not understanding everything right now. So um, we pursued it and um, we found the right match and due to these guys' help, we were able to purchase the dog, you know, to to help him and yeah. he's got a companion you know for another 10 years you know to just sit there with him you know and go wherever he goes and you know that's wonderful it's been really great yeah, it's gotta it's make awesome. you feel incredible it's awesome and I'm that. telling you I mean it just every year this just keeps happening it's like never waking up from that great dream yeah. um, seriously and that's why we're on the search right now for our, our next beneficiary so um, we we on our website obviously tangierclassic.com Facebook all that other stuff we have links to our sponsors packets to get people involved and also have our link to our beneficiary application. So our deadline is March 25th for anybody that knows someone in need mm -hmm. and we're going to be looking at those stories and, and decide where to go from there. And so who would be the ideal beneficiary? So I mean, you know, you can look at our previous beneficiaries. We've had, you know, young Mr. Lane Dotson, Franklin Kerwin, this past year Owen Droulette. Obviously, uh, good, good story there. Obviously, he's coming home today. Again, it's a, it's a child that has gone through some just amazing things so far. I mean, to have to have, you know, five, six, seven surgeries within a year of your first life, you know, um, Lane dealing with what he had to deal with, and, you know, obviously he's, he's in really good shape. Mm -hmm. we're, we're looking for those kind of kids to, to benefit every year. So the tournament, like you said, is far out, but let us know. I mean, tell us, when is it? September 23rd, 24th, 25th. Mm -hmm. Of course, we're going to be right back down at our headquarters at American Legion Post number 16 in Crisfield. Mm -hmm. and, and we're just, again, the community just coming around us and, and gathering and bringing in that support. It is amazing. Again, 120 sponsors last year. That's incredible. Far and wide, you know, many, many local businesses. We've got a returning sponsor this year, Thorns Marine. And I mean, it's just, it's great. It's kicking off. We opened up our sponsor packet, I think February 7th. And within 48 hours, we already had a significant inflow of sponsorship applications. That's wow. wonderful. That's awesome. Adam Corey, Ryan Dodson, thank you so much and good thank luck you. with the tournament. Thank you very Ooh, much. Thank yeah. you. Yeah.